Okay, now question number four of the same paper, November 2, 2020, 9709, component 5, 1. Question number four is, uh, the random variable x takes each of the values one, two, three, and four with a probability of one over four. So that means each number has a probability of one over four. Two independent values of x are chosen at random. So you're selecting two values from one, two, three, and four. So that's why I've written one, two, three, four over here, and I've written one, two, three, four over here. I've drawn a small sample space diagram to represent these values. So since we're going to select two values, it says two independent values of X are chosen. So let's say this is going to be our first value. And let's say this is going to be the second value that we're going to select. If the two values of X are the same, the random variable Y takes the value. So if they are the same, so we are just going to have the value as it is. So that's one and one, so that's one. If it's two and two, so that's just going to be two. If it's three and three, that's going to be three. If it's four and four, that's going to be four. Now remember this, this is X and this is also X. It says two independent values of X. So we're selecting one X from here, one X from here are chosen at random. If the two values of X are the same, the random variable Y. So now we are going to have another random variable, which is going to be Y takes that value. So if the values are same, it's going to be the random variable y is going to be represented by that value is that can have one, two, three, and four. Otherwise, the value of y is larger the value of x minus smaller value of x. So otherwise, we are going to get the values of y as being subtracting the two values from here. So if this is one and two, so two minus one will give us one. If this is three and one, so that's just gonna give us two. This is four and one, I'm gonna subtract the two, I'm gonna get three. Now, it's always supposed to be a positive value since you're always gonna subtract the larger one from the smaller value of X. So the larger value of X minus the smaller value. So if this is two, one, so I'm gonna subtract two minus one, that's gonna give me one. So two and three, so that's three minus two, that's gonna give me one. If this is four minus two, so that's gonna give me two, three and one, that's two, three and two, that's one, three and four, that means four minus three, that's gonna give me one, four and one, that's three, four and two, that's two, four and three, that's one. So these are all the numbers that I'm getting for the random sample of Y. So I have a Y random sample drawn over here. What are the different types of values that I'm getting? So I, I'm getting one, I'm getting twos, and I'm getting threes and fours. So these are all my random variables of Y, random sample of Y, which takes values from one, two, three, and four. Now I have to write the corresponding probabilities of these. So how many ones do I have? So that's four and that's four, so that's 16 possible outcomes. Now how many ones do I have out of 16? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones I have. So that's gonna be seven over 16 for ones. How many twos do I have? One, two, three, four, five, five twos. So that's gonna be five over 16. And threes, I have three over 16. That's one, two, and three. Fours, I have just one. That's the only four I have. So that's going to be one over 16. If I've done this right, I so the numerator is supposed to be equal to the denominator. So seven plus five, that's 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus one, that's 16. So that's 16 over 16. So the total probability of any event is one. So that means this is right. So it says draw up the probability distribution table for Y. So that's the answer. This is the probability distribu distribution table for Y. So that's part one then. Now in part B, it says find the probability that Y is equal to two, given that Y is even. So we are finding the probability of two, given that it's even. Now remember, this is conditional probability. So the condi conditional probability, if we have probability of event A, given that it's B, we write this as probability of A intersection B, 
on the given that which comes after the slash. So A slash B. So that's probability of event B. If we compare this to this, so that this is to find the probability of Y is equal to two, given that Y is even. So that's going to be probability of two intersection and it also has to be even divided by probability of given that, given that is even. So that's why this is coming over here. So this is going to be divided by probability of even number. So probability of A intersection as probability of two intersection E will be that's two and it's also an even number. So how many do we get over here? So that's just gonna give us five over six, five over 16, because it's two and it's also even. So that's two, 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 and two. All the twos are even numbers. So that's just five of these. And there's one more over here. So that's one, two, three, four, and five twos, which are also even. So that's two intersection E. That's five over 16 upon probability that they're even. So how many even numbers do I have altogether? So I have twos and fours. So I have one, two, three, four, five of these, and I have one, four. So that's just gonna give me six. So even numbers, I have six over 16. So five over 16 divided by six over 16. 16 and 16 will cancel out, and I will be getting my answer as five over. Six.